what is your strategy for getting clients these days? Is it just like people find you on TikTok? They then go apply to work with you. What's like the best way for you to, uh, to pick up new clients? Yeah. So as a like service provider on TikTok, Um, I'll go into TikTok strategy and then I'll go into like social media manager strategy. So if you're a service provider on TikTok, right, let's say you're like a social media manager or you're a coach or you're a graphic designer even, what I like to do is one, I would say the most important is share your results that you've gotten from other clients Um, because results sell. Like you could, I could stand there all day and say to someone, I'm the best social media manager on TikTok, but until they see like actual screenshots of analytics, it's kind of hard to just take your word for it. Like show them results of what you've done, build yourself a portfolio. Even if that means you have to like work for one client at a lower rate or like even free, just use that opportunity one to enhance your own skills and then build a portfolio, right? So definitely showcasing your results on TikTok, um, sharing your story on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten like a client inquiry and then we've gotten on a discovery call. And then I'm like, yeah, so where'd you find me? And they say TikTok. And then I go, okay, why did you choose to work with me? And nine times out of 10, it's because I really relate to your story or I really, you know, admire your story or something along the lines of that. So definitely share your results, share your story, and then just like be authentic. Being you is so important. If you're like, if you show up as someone you're not, one, that personality will fade over time. And that's fine too, right? Like we all go through this phase of when we're first starting to create content. We show up on camera a certain way, but then after a while we go, okay, wait, this is actually like who I want to be on camera. So take time to discover like yourself in that process. But then also I would say just another little tip is, share valuable content. If you're sharing valuable content, you know, like three ways to do X or two mistakes to avoid in whatever industry you're in, it's just going to show to potential clients that, Hey, she actually does know what she's talking about. Um, and it'll help like position you as the authority. I love that. Like two, two things that you said that really stick out are like, you want to show, like, I always like to say show don't sell, right? You never want to be like, Oh, Hey, hire me. Like I'm the best. But like, you show your results, you show your work. Like I I love doing like kind of like behind the scenes videos on like a consulting call and people are like, Oh, like this guy's got clients. Like you kind of show, show the thing that you want to sell. That's such a great, Mm -hmm. uh, that's such a great strategy. I love using that. I always recommend that to all my clients too. And then what you mentioned about sharing your story and just being authentic, it's so important. And like, it's one of those things that initially you might not notice a difference, right? You put your story out there and it's like, it's not one of those things that like, oh, that video is going to go viral and now I get 50 clients. No, it's one of those things that like over time, like you mentioned, you hop on a discovery call, you hop on sales calls and they're like, oh, Cora, like your story about like this X, Y, Z, like I resonate with that. I'm like, that's why they work with you, right? I'll have people that will they'll hop on discovery calls with me and they're like, Mike, like, How's Columbia? Like, how was it when you like left your job in New York? Like, I feel like I know everything about you because you share your story. And like, that's what creates the connection. That's why people end up actually working with you because they like you, right? They understand your story and sharing that is so important. And it's something that you don't see the results right away. It's more of like a long-term play. 